From the windows of the Rizal Shrine, one can view a Calamba landmark. Erected in the city plaza is a giant 12-meter high clay pot engraved with the names of the city's barangays on its surface, known as Kalambanga. Early settlers claimed that Kalamba's name stemmed from the words Kalan and Banga, meaning clay stove and water jar. The high-grade clay in Kalamba's lakeshore has made pottery a source of livelihood for many of its residents. It was because of the city's symbol that John Petty John and his wife Tessie chose to live in Kalamba and continue to shape art from clay. John Petty John is of Filipino-American descent and has spent many years in the Philippines experimenting with and learning about and sometimes teaching pottery. He learned his craft from Barcelona, Spain, where he started out as an apprentice at a small studio. An artist who works with the elements of fire and clay, creating pots is his passion. His work in traditional functional pottery is in one-of-a-kind or extremely limited editions. Tessie San Juan holds a degree of Bachelor of Fine Arts in Painting from the University of the Philippines. She also studied ceramic art and interior design and later taught pottery and art and it was one of his solo exhibits that Tessie and John met and their passion for the art of pottery making has kept them together since. Yes, I, I studied fine arts in the University of the Philippines majoring in painting and on my third year a ceramic teacher came. He started teaching ceramics and I took it as part of my, you know, just an extra course <laughs> and I really liked it. <laughs> when I was in my early 20s, I, I, I visited my cousin who was living in Barcelona at the time. And there just happens to be a very good art school with a very good ceramic department in Barcelona. So I went one day to visit just to see it. And uh, I was able to go inside the school and I walked into the ceramic workshop and I saw a lot of young people my age uh, working with their hands. And it just hit me like the lightning bolt. I just, I just said, this is something I really would like to do. And, and by the grace of God, I was able to enroll in that school. And I studied for a few years. Later, I apprenticed before I came back to the Philippines. The Petty Johns belong to a generation of artist potters who are reviving the traditional methods of pottery making, fusing them with contemporary styles of Asian and Western ceramics. From mostly gas-fired stoneware and porcelain, the Petty Johns are now experimenting with wood and salt firing. For me, I, have a, I feel a great connection to the, to the potters and the clay artists from the past. You know, we're lucky in ceramics is that we get to see the works of people thousands of years ago because, because ceramics is preserved so well. So I, I, I feel a real connection to all the potters and artists who came before me. And I would like to continue the tradition and also to try to add something of my own so to be part of that, that ancient chain, I guess. That's part of my inspiration. Inspired by nature, I started working with, you know, doing sculptural type things, you know, corals, cactus, whatever I see around. <laughs> you know, it's like music. You have, to, you, have to, you have to do the technique and you have to learn the scales. There are things, there are techniques and craftsmanship that you have to learn. The basics, it takes a little bit of discipline, but once you learn that, you, you try to forget it and feel free to do whatever. But we do try to come up with concepts and we do some sketching sometimes, more often than not. But of course, sometimes it's good just to improvise also. When you start working on something, it may be a month or six weeks before you see the end. So you're always, it's always just anticipating, anticipating, you know, what is this going to, what color is this going to be? And potters often get depressed when the work is finished. That's the end, you know, it's finished. So what do we do now? <laughs> have to start again. Yeah, clay, clay is one of the most sensitive materials. You know, we, we taught for a long time and we can, because of that, we can look at someone's work and we can often, you can feel what this person, what, what they're like in a way. Because clay, you know, it's very soft and it picks up the, the slightest. You can see the way, the, way, the way people handle the clay. You know, whether it's very gentle or very coarse or... I mean, you know, we, we've worked all our life doing pottery. I guess that's how we should be remembered. Yeah, you know? we worked hard. 
that we try to help and encourage the young ones, the other ones, as much as possible. Yeah. We've been working now for more than 40 years, but there's no sense of you know mastery. We don't feel that way at all. Yeah, there's so much things to discover and so many things to learn. To learn. Yes, sir. It cannot be mastered in one lifetime. So we share it also as much as possible. Yeah, we share a lot. Of sometimes, things. sometimes artists and craftsmen keep things secret. We had to, we dealt with that when we were when we were young. It was an issue because there were very few of us, and we had to decide if we were going to teach. Are we just going to open up and tell them everything? We, I, it was kind of difficult in the beginning, but it wasn't very long before we realized that, I mean, it's such a cliche, but the more you give, the more that comes back to you. It's just it's so true. Keeping secrets is the worst thing. <laughs> this afternoon's episode has given us the opportunity to learn more and celebrate the works not only of Calambas, but of Laguna's very talented visual artists. On behalf of SM, the Metropolitan Museum of Manila, NCCA, Shell Philippines, Center Stage Production, and the Philippine Star, we wish to thank John and Tessie Petijan, Ben Cruz, Philippine High School for the Arts, Mark Cosico, Paul Hilario, Yvette Ko, and Tito Sanchez for sharing their amazing talents. Again, this is Vim Nadera thanking you for joining me in this wonderful journey. We hope to see you again as we make a stop at SM City Dasmariñas for another episode of My City, My SM, My Art.